just want you to hear it from me. Uh, this will be my last week. As the final week of the Guinness Six Nations approaches, Wales are under pressure to convert performances into results. But if this young team is going to get where it wants to be, this is the kind of pressure they need to learn to relish. Guys, we, we've been great in this um, campaign. I think we've, people have enjoyed each other's company. There's been some hard work. We know we're going on a journey in terms of learning some stuff. Be excited, embrace the challenge. Get out there and let's finish it off. We need some physicality, uh, maybe some of those power plays to get into, it, into them early on. Um, and don't wait, walk away with any regrets saying, I could have done a little bit better there. Okay, let's go. Let's go. Let's go. We know where we are as a team. Uh, I think there's been a lot of support out there from the Welsh public that they can see what we're trying to do in terms of developing a, a group of youngsters and giving them uh, the experience to go forward. Looking at back at some results of the past and spoke to Martin Williams and he sort of said, look, if you go back to 2003 when he was involved, we didn't have a great season and two years later we won the Grand Slam and then probably from that period he had a really successful time in, in Welsh rugby. So one of the things you can't coach experience, so they've, they've got to go out there and, and learn it for themselves. We understand about international rugby is about winning, so look, challenging, but Still excited about this group of young men and, and where we could potentially take them. As the tournament draws to a close, so does something more significant. For the last 14 years, George North has set the standard in the Welsh backline, but he's decided that this week will mark the end of an era. Um, a quick one for me, boys. Um, I just want you to hear it from me. Uh, this will be my last week uh, with Wales. Um, it's been a huge honour, privilege to play with coaches and staff and you boys. Um, it's been a, a wicked ride, obviously it's been a tough ride, but for me I've, um, I've loved every second of this campaign and cherished every moment. Um, I want you to hear it from me, uh, there'll, there'll be someone else uh, shortly, but um, like this week's huge for us boys. Um, these are the weeks that you want to be around for, these are the weeks you want to play for, and uh, I can't wait to rip into it now boys. Uh, big week for, for all of us and uh, I wanted to get you, let you know first so then we can just focus food on Saturday and what that uh, means for us as a, as a whole. So um, thank you, don't make it weird, just be normal <laughs> and um, let's rip into it boys. Cheers. As a person, as a team man, uh, and what he brings, not so much uh, on the field, but off the field. Um, a huge amount of respect from his great family man. And you know, I just want to wish him all the best, but, uh, and, and really thank him for what he's contributed to, to Welsh rugby as, a, from a, as an 18 year old when he first burst onto the scene. And look, he deserves you know, every accolade that's thrown his way and, um, and he can be really proud of what he's achieved and, and his family should be really proud of what he's, what he's done for, for Welsh rugby. It was a bit weird for the first few hours and then went back to being normal then, so that was, that was nice. Um, I can't thank people enough for how many kind messages I've had over like WhatsApp, text, Instagram, Twitter and um, it means it does mean the world to me, and I guess you don't really appreciate um, what you've done or um, how you've gone about your work until you don't do it anymore. Or again, I should say. But um, yeah, it's been obviously it comes to us all, and I've been fortunate enough to have lived my dream for for 14 years. I'd hate not to be able to deliver on the standards that I always have and that Gat has instilled in me. You know, even though I'm competing now and playing well, and that's how I'd like to, to leave it. And um, yeah. I've been impressed with a, a lot of boys can win it, in it to win it. I think he's been, he's still young in his days and his understanding of uh, what international rugby 
requires, but he is, he is a, a real talent for the future. Manny is another one that stood out for me. Alex is uh, how he goes about his work. He's now, when he's training, he's, um, the standard he goes at each day has, has been very impressive and he, you see that in the way he's delivering. You know, the boys that we know, Rafi is flying, you know, that's great for us as a country. The likes of uh, Gar Tom, um, he's going really well. Sam Costello, I've been very impressed with him. Obviously, fly half is such a difficult position. Every bugger thinks they can play it until they get into the pointy end of the stick, but um, you know, a great, great talent for us and someone that um, with more game time will even get, will get better and better and better. And um, that's something that excites me to be able to watch that. Um, unfortunately, won't get to play with that, <laughs> but uh, to be able to watch that and um, yeah, it's exciting. And um, you know, like I said many times during this campaign, like this is opportunity for these boys to to stamp their mark on on how this team goes forward now and stamp their mark on the on the jersey and uh, hopefully will have loved it and cherished it uh, as much as I have. For Wales, it's a time to look to the future. But for George, there's still time to celebrate his career with a few faces from the past. George, mate, uh, I just want to send you a message to congratulate you on a truly amazing career. Uh, you should be very proud of what you achieved. Um, you know, playing alongside you for all those years and some of my best memories have been there um, with you. Um, but yeah, looking back, I'm sure you'll have very fond memories. Um, enjoy the occasion Saturday and once again, congratulations, mate. Mr. Fox, one of Wales is best. Oh, here we go. George, want to wish you many congratulations on an illustrious international career. Um, obviously, uh, Played alongside you quite a bit. Um, you are the original man child. Um, you know, weirdly strange in your own way. But um, what you lack in normalcy is definitely made up for in your athletic ability. So it's been an absolute pleasure, mate. I want to congratulate you again. Wish you all the best for the weekend. Um, no doubt, catch you soon. Cheers, bud. Gee, a massive congrats on an incredible international career that speaks for itself. I know you're really looking forward to spending more time with Becky and the kids and also spending a bit more time <laughs> behind the coffee machine, uh, not forgetting some extra time on the bike as well. But mate, for myself and everyone here at Baffle, uh, massive congrats and yeah, look forward to catching up soon. <laughs> Sharif. <laughs> Hi George, hope you're okay. Just want to wish you uh, a huge congratulations on a fantastic international career. Um, where you've achieved pretty much everything there is to achieve. You've made Wales very proud, uh, all your family are, are proud of you. Uh, just very privileged and proud to have, um, have played with you at the, at the top level. Just want to say all the very best uh, for the future and hopefully see you soon. Bye bye. How are the lads? How are the lads? I've been very fortunate to play alongside some players that I looked up to when I was playing. Uh, I told Al many times to his face and behind his back that he's the old man and the grumpy old man and to me like a, a great friend. Same with Fox, you know, I, Fox he dragged me up alongside him and um, cherished every moment because, you know, what, what an amazing player. And the Sharif Ken, <laughs> um, again, for me, again, uh, from the Scarlet's days um, right through to Wales, he's always been a big supporter of me and me of him and, you know, those guys that, um, play at the top level, know what it takes and I think that um, that mutual respect and that understanding, um, it, it bears weight, you know. The final match for Wales and a final game in the red jersey for George. The preparations are as businesslike as ever but the significance of the moment isn't lost on anyone. Work with, work with for each other, yeah? Make it count! Can we start the fastest uh, out of all the games we have been played yet? Can we get out this box for like a tray? Really set the tone for the match. In everything we do. Just remember where we are, boys. Fucking home. No one comes here, right? Oh. It makes it easy.
Yeah. I'll fuck it home. Remember that. Like Thomas said, God said, you do it for him. Let's take that bell, Yeah. Yeah. You do it for him. For each other. It means everything today. Okay? Squeeze on me. Two, three, six. Right, So two teams and 73,000 are ready. We are ready for the first game on the final weekend of the Six Nations. Nicolo Canoni goes this time the second row. Now it moves to Plex, now it moves wider. Now Matteo Vanni, three and through. What a start by Italy. And Wales in real trouble with 20 minutes gone. Wales in real bother here at the Principality at half time they trail by 11 points. Be nice and direct, get them behind them. We talked about playing front door and we're going there, we've got a little bit of shape and then we're going out the back door. At this level, teams are too good. So we've got to go forward first and then we can go out the back door. And if we go forward, we can still play front door. Put them on the back foot, then we can play. Nice and accurate, make sure we get some go forward. There's been enough talking talk in this campaign, yeah? Eight weeks of talking. It's about time to put into f***ing action, yeah? Eight f***ing weeks. All leading up to right now. Make sure you f***ing mean something to this last one. Squeeze on me. Two, three, squeeze! Inches. The game is gone. But do they have a second try? Not yet. Once again, the Italian oh, defence yeah, working yeah. so hard. Try now! Well, well, something at the very end for the stadium to celebrate. He has been one of the greatest of Welsh rugby. Yeah, he's up there. You'll be very fortunate to have great wingers from JJ to Gerald to Yeyan to Shane. And he is up there with the, with the best that have played on the wing. An amazing career. Tries international matches, Lions. What a great player. Little chip over the top. Will it go to Italian hands? Will it be over? No! Good race, Mason Grady! Oh, Mason Grady is in! Mason Grady is in for the third Welsh try! to this game. It finishes a card of Wales, 21, Italy, 24. First of all, thank you for sticking by us, but um, this, this playing group will give everything, as you've seen to the last minute there. Um, just stick with us, because I, I promise you the future's bright. When, when we go away from this environment now, we're just going to have to get better and better as individuals, as players. And uh, when we come back together as a group, we'll be in a better place. The end of the campaign, and it's one that will hurt for a while. But this team still knows where they want to get to, and the work won't stop here. Hey, um, that's just from me. I know we're pretty disappointed, we're pretty down about that. Um, and we'll review, we look, need to look at uh, some of the things that were costly for us, particularly in the first half. We got some momentum in the second half, got some front foot ball, we gave Thomas an opportunity to start getting in behind them. So those are the things that we need to, to take forward in terms of developing our game. Um, well done to Dev in terms of your leadership in this group. I thought you'd been outstanding. I think some guys have had some, some good performances. Some of the youngsters that have come on um, have really grown. And I think that's a huge positive side. I thought Evan today when you came on your line, <coughs> you came on. A couple of nice 
carries and a bit of full work. Um, so the talent here and the excitement that we have as a group, we've got to continue to build on that. Just, um, yeah, but it's just for George, I think. I think it's been a great career. I know it's sadly turned to George, but time for Evan Hawk, graduates in your first cup, mate. Um, Sadly, it's not the fairy tale ending everyone wanted. But for George, there's still a chance to reflect on the last 14 years and enjoy it with the people who mean the most. <laughs>